So this is how I make spaghetti. I take one pound of meat, it's about one pound, and I'm going to brown it. I have my pot of water cooking right here and a cheap package of pasta. We prefer the angel hair. And while I am letting the meat brown, I am chopping vegetables to put in with the meat. If you are paleo or gluten-free, I recommend Miracle Noodle. Uh, other options are quinoa noodles, and they're very good, or rice noodles if you're not grain intolerant. But if you're doing paleo, Miracle Noodle is good except that it doesn't have any calories in it. So it's for the texture in your mouth and the feeling of fullness in your belly. This doesn't actually add any nutrition to your meal. It is just, uh, is it called insoluble fiber? Pleasure food. It's, yeah, it's pleasure food. It's just texture. It And so it just makes you feel like you're having a normal meal with your family. So let's see, what do they call it? It's a little bit more involved to cook. You, you have to boil it, then strain it, then you cook it on a pan. But it has all the, the instructions here. Let's see. It contains only healthy soluble fiber, and it's made out of a root. So that's what I will do. This costs almost $3 for one meal. We do not have spaghetti often, so about every two or three weeks I've bought one package of this to eat when we do spaghetti. When you're ready to do your vegetables, have a little bowl here so you're not walking from here to the stove a lot. And sharp knife, it's nice to have everything pretty much the same size as far as um, your vegetables. Don't cut your fingers off. I'm wishing my knife was a little sharper. Don't add your vegetables to your meat until your meat is all the way cooked because you do not want undercooked hamburger. When you're doing your boiling water for your spaghetti, put a lid on, and if it starts to boil, just turn it down so that it's just barely boiling. If you're celiac, you won't want to use the same water that you used before. You'll need a separate pot for your noodles with clean water. So this hamburger is just about ready. This is the seasoning that I'm going to use, this is Italian seasoning, it's just the herbs that we, and we just buy it bulk. And I keep it in a little jar like this next to my stove. These are the garlic that I dehydrated on the wood burning stove last year. There's my jar of that. And I just mince it up just a tiny bit. I add this to the meat because the meat is what needs to be seasoned. And then I add my onions and my tomatoes so that they'll soften up good. This is the canned goods that I put in. I don't buy prepared tomato sauce at all. Um, two cans of tomato paste and one can of mushrooms. Each of these costs about 50 cents. This is 45, these are 54, so about 50 cents. 50, 50, 50. And this will make enough sauce for two meals, not just the meal that we're eating right now. You drain the water off of the mushrooms and put those in, and then for the tomato paste, the easiest thing to take it out with is a butter knife just twirled around the side. So I use a butter knife to get all of it out. And then I fill it with water, kind of like you do with orange juice, how you use the can to measure how much orange, how much water to put in your orange juice. With these, the way to get all the tomato paste out is just to let some water sit in there for a minute. And then as you pour it out, kind of swirl it a little bit. When you do your pasta, make sure that you have a little bit of oil in the water so that it's not boiling over. Stir it so it's not sticking together. These are the paleo noodles and you take them out of the package, drain them in a colander for 30 seconds, and then boil them for two to four minutes, drain them, and then put them back in the pan over medium heat and cook them for for a little while. Doesn't say how many minutes. I wanted to show you guys my favorite spaghetti um, tool. 
actually one of my favorite kitchen tools. This is a colander that opens up and will fit on anything. So I use it for making cheese too. I can put it over a big bowl and drain my way into it so I can make my ricotta. So I think this cost me $20 and it seemed like a lot of money, but I use it and it's really well made. How's the spaghetti, guys? Good. In the page, she has a bruised bone. She does have a bruised bone. Okay. Or maybe a broken. So that much spaghetti sauce made enough for two meals. And I've already applied cheese to everybody's plate, so this cheese will probably end up going back in the bag of shredded cheese. Used a little bit of cottage cheese. So the package of spaghetti cost, I think, $1.78. My spaghetti that Kaya and I, Kaya, can you sit up to eat, please, instead of dropping it on your lap? Uh, my spaghetti and the one that Kaya is eating also, that costs about $3 a package. Isn't that what I said before? Okay. About $3 a package. And it only, it only serves a little tiny person and one big person. On all of ours, I try to go really heavy on the sauce because of the meat and vegetables in it especially where the girls are sensitive to the wheat. Um, we do use the Parmesan. And let's see, is there anything else? I think that's it. That is our meal. I haven't quite calculated how much it would have cost us total. If you're, if, if you're just a wheat-eating family, I would imagine that it's under $5 because I only used one pound of hamburger. Oh, and I forgot. That much will feed the family twice. So is that two dinners for five dollars? Sure, you're the one that has the calculations. The only thing that I would change that would cost us again would be more cottage cheese and more cheese for the second dinner. So um, I, I think that makes it two dinners for five dollars because the main ingredients will be used again. Yeah. And the cottage cheese will put the lid on, and this cheese will go back in the bag. So, there we go. This is how much is left over from one package of spaghetti. I didn't remember to look what the ounces were, but it was that much spaghetti around uncooked. And this is how much sauce is left. This is how much cheese is left. I used about one cup of grated cheese. And we've got... About two-thirds of our cottage cheese container is still full.